Okay. Hello, fellow YouTubers. All right, we're back. Now, I was watching Marcus win yesterday, actually, and he had his uh, Ares Ion out doing some of the beacon missions. And he's using Lag Pip, and I have never tried Lag Pip. So, we have now fit my Hornets. This baby, look at this thing. So, we've put attritions on them. On all weapons are attritions. We're at Lorville right now. Oh, well, I'm up in the station. Because I came and got these. I took the skin off. I see no point in having a white skin on there when I could just get the Super Hornet. I want this because it's called the Wildfire, and I want people to see uh, Wildfire. On the screen, you'll probably see uh, my controllers. See if you see them moving right now. I can't see them. They're not on my screen, but they're an overlay. Now, I'm showing it. It doesn't look like everybody else's because I'm using a Hosam setup. So everything that I would do with my left hand, a stick. And I'm going to get a, a shot of that at some point so people can see. But I have the, um, you know, is it that uh, VKB with the side angle? So my hand still sits kind of in this general area, like kind of how you would with the keyboards. And then my mouse, it's like the pointer and you're moving the ship like a turret. I didn't want to get dual sticks because I don't have the real estate and I didn't really want to have to learn a whole new skill right yet. I like to sometimes switch back to mouse and keyboard so I don't want to go dual stick and then have that you know skill fade going back to mouse and keyboard. So this is what this is the setup. I do switch back and forth but because it's a little bit hard to get used to but I'm going to try I'm still learning. I'm going to try to switch to or try out lag pip this time. So I'm going to do a few missions with um, normal setup. Try to find some VRTs and then I'll do and then I'm going to switch to uh, lag pip and see the difference. So first let's get out of here. So I also use voice attack as well. So obviously if you hear me that's what I'm doing. Starboard proximity alert. I don't mess around. Landing gear. Okay, so here we're back at it. We have the uh, wildfire out again, and I have all attritions on here again. And I've removed the two pods, and I have put an attrition on the bottom. It's beautiful. Size three attrition on the bottom. So got one two three size threes and then one size four now I feel like this size four is a gimbal assist possibly because I don't believe it's these because I've taken off the pucks I've taken off all the gimbals but when you go inside and if I change my flight mode, if you're in a ship that has uh, only fixed weapons, if you try to change the fire mode, as you can see over there on the where the decoys are, uh, it won't change. But I can go to auto, lock. I have no idea how the target is. Uh, and that lock is like locks it in place. But uh, that is a gimbal window. See, and that's the gimbal window. Hmm. Let me check this. I'll go to a power. Items. Item. Let's find the attrition for. Ah, see? The circle, the inner circle is gone. where the gimbal would be, the gimbal circle. It's not there. See, no no uh, secondary circle around my reticle. Turn it back on. Hmm. 
Boom. Now you see the target. You see the reticle. Because that thing is a little gimbal assist. And because this ship is fast, I am not going to mm, gimbal that. I'm going to keep it fixed. But I am going to keep it on its own um, the secondary. And the reason for this is the power draw. I do power management, and I'm okay at it, but I'm not the greatest. And if I if I use them all in the same guns, I'm done so fast. So I find it better to do straight runs, quick hits, quick hits, and then save it depending on what my level's at. Obviously, if I'm starting off full power, I'm using everything I got. But then now if my shields go down and I need my shields up, I'm not going to... See, look how long it takes me to recharge. It takes forever. See, I have no shots. So now let's get this back up to full. Back to shields. Now I'm out. Still have full shields. Chasing the target. See how the attritions are going up? But I still have my four. Attrition four. And that's enough punishment, at least to keep get my shields back up. And then I can quickly switch back to recharge them fast. Make sure your boost is always, to me at least, some uh, some in the in the boost range. As you can see on there. Always have some. Don't ever be in the red. Alright, mission time. We are... I did an HRT with this thing. Let's do an HRT. Large multi-craft average support. Okay, we're going to do an HRT. Which normally you would do... I would do in a heavy fighter like a warden. But we're going to see if I can do this. Let's give it a try. This would be great for uh, an eclipse. This is a perfect eclipse job. Or a uh, harbinger, warden, or a heavy fighter, actually, you know, in general. I would not take my ban on defender at all to do this. I would not. I guarantee I would lose one of my claws or something. It's got two size shields on it, but. Once those shields go, she's paper. This king can take a much uh, better beating. It's more specialized. That's why I like to use it for these types of missions. All right, let's find our guy. So you pick your closest target because you can't get to him. That's the best one. And there's Klesher, by the way. Uh, I always think I, uh, there's an H shelter right there. Hey? I've never, I've been there. I've never uh, escaped. Um, it's a solo player. I just don't see the point. Okay, we're coming up fast on this guy. All right. I'm going down. I'll tell you why. Because this place is... Changing speed, six Gs. Wow. Nine Gs. I want to get to the ground. So worried I'm gonna crash right into the ground. Uh, really, because it's so cloudy here. Like I have no idea where the deck is. Like that is not helping me. So there, 700 meters. About 600 meters off the ground. External. 
There it is. Internal. There's the target. Valkyrie. just launching noise. I want to see if this thing hits. I'm not sure. Okay, we're going in, but we're going to go in and we're going to go straight up because I have no idea where the bloody ground is. We're going in slow here. Because he is a big ship. Uh, honestly, the Valkyrie is my absolute favorite ship in this game. Uh, Appearance-wise. It looks just like the ship from Aliens. I know I'm going super... Oh, he's got an escort. Jesus. Oh, he's got two. Oh, no. Buccaneer. And the Buccaneer. All right, new plan, this way. We want this guy, come with me. Come this way. I don't even want to decouple around here because I'm not even sure. Breaking. Because he's coming to me. I'm actually backing up right now because I know he's coming towards me now. Oh, they're all coming towards me now. This guy's closer. Oh, whoa. Shields hit. To the target Damn. Fucking ears, man. External. Look at this. Internal. Oh, we're not done with you guys yet. I'm lightweight. Let's go buck. Desync, desync, desync. It's okay. I'm also having trouble flying. I've lost two weapons. We're gonna do this. Is he hurt? So, here's my target now all alone, but look at my ship. Look at this ship. She ain't done yet. The bound defender. Sorry to say. Okay, shields are full. Uh, I'm not gonna... Right now it's weapons are down. Or sorry, shields are down. I'll be up in a second. This is not gonna be easy. So I've lost... One of my weapons. Obviously that one on the uh, starboard wing. I lost. My center pump was damaged. I know I'm going slow. 
I'm inching up on this guy. Um, I actually don't think this is going to be that hard. I think he's going to be a, not that bright of an AI. Let me hit you. I'm just going to circle him. See, that pip is showing me where it thinks that my shots will land. So I'm just circling. Just strafing pack. Strafing starboard. So you have to bring that pip onto target. So I'm pulling that, I feel like I'm pulling that pip destroyed. to be right there. And there we go. Look how easy that was. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that. I just did an HRT. Let me just double check. Was that an HRT? History. HRT in a medium fighter. Now I'm sure there's other guys that could easily that might be able to do this in a medium fighter like like the banner defender, but I've tried it. I have actually tried it with the banner defender, and that damage, that getting rammed by a buck buccaneer, you're not making it. I've never they knock me out every time. So, so my conclusion on lead versus lag. Lag is the way to go. I am going to be switching permanently and I'm not gonna be going back. Now, I'll explain quickly just why. And I've seen so many people with so many ideas on Reddit, everywhere else, and no one gives an exact, exact answer. So here it is. With the, the lead pip, you are constantly chasing the pip. So when you're, you're almost always staring at it, you're actually not staring at the ship. You're staring more at the pip. And I have always been doing that. And then every so often you glance to try to see where the nose of the ship might be. Because the computer is trying to tell you kind of to where to shoot. So point your ship towards where to shoot, which happens to be like where the pip is. Where the lag pip, is different is that it is guessing where your rounds are going to land and what this ends up doing is it makes you focus on f the front of the ship you are focused on the actual enemy ship not the pip and then when you get the ship you are pulling the pip onto the target and why do i think this is better this is better because it's more realistic. Now, if you picture yourself in World War II on an uh, aircraft carrier with an anti-aircraft machine gun and you have a plane that's traveling across the horizon, you're gonna aim and shoot in front of that airplane hoping that the rounds will fly into you. The lag pip is doing the same thing. However, it's projecting a guesstimation of where you should, how far you should be aiming. If you were on that ship firing the anti-aircraft gun, you would be firing, firing, firing in front of the ship, hoping that the plane would fly into it. At that point, you would almost understand then what your lead is and it can carry on other shots from that. But I find the lag pip is more realistic because once you are ready, you know you need to lead the target. And all you're doing is now pulling the pip onto target. So 100% lag pip, in my opinion, is the way to go. Thank you guys very much if you stuck around to listen to this whole thing. I appreciate any, uh, any support at all. Again, thank you very much. Let's go repair. We should fully repair right now. We should have no problem repairing. Now, we're landing gear. Oh, you busted. Oh, I don't... Do I have 
at the front. Let's get out. Let's do a walk around before we, we do a repair. Wildfire after a successful HRT mission. Actually would have uh, done much better except I had uh, a buccaneer ram me. And look at the state of this ship. Oh, I left the engines on. She's broken. Mutilated. She still flies. Uh, it was difficult. I could honestly tell you there was a difference in maneuvering. So when I went and got the Valkyrie, all I really could do uh, at the time was just uh, strafe, just strafe. You're strafing faster than him and just utilizing that size 4 attrition just to, just to hammer him down. 